Hello everybody, this is E. Prower, back once again on Feed the Beast. And we got Nikolai, he's hiding down there. He's down in the room with uh, our blast furnace and... Water! Water? Why do you have water? Water shards. Oh, water shards, okay. <laughs> so... I scared. We, um... Well... Oh, you're still using that, uh... That pick? No, I'm saying you got that. You have that that diamond pick on you still. Yeah. Oh, okay. As it, did you enchant it? Yeah, I did. With the silk touch book. No, I had a. I got a fortune two on it. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Yep. Anyways, so we built the blast furnace. I made some coke coal here. We have a bunch of creosote oil in here, and the creosote oil will be useful. I was say we don't have any oil yet, do we? Uh, no, we don't. And how can I enchant it with a uh, silk touch? Dude! I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what you did. I didn't even know you... How did you even enchant it? We don't even have an enchanting table. Yeah, but... Wasn't there... There was one at the old base. I never made one. There was one sitting in there. Huh? Did I make one and forget about it? Yeah, I think you did, because I didn't grab it. Do you want me to go back and get it? Oh, well, yeah. There's an enchanting table. You should have grabbed that. Yeah, I was like, oh, he left the table here. Sweet. I don't ever remember making that, because I don't ever remember grabbing any books. We had. I was going to say, because I noticed my books <laughs> moved around at one point. I also didn't use any diamonds. It takes two diamonds and four obsidian. Are you sure? Yeah, dude. Like, look, if we still have obsidian in here somewhere, then I didn't. Then I didn't make one. Oh. There's one sitting. No. Well, we have 24 obsidian here, but that was some of that was from breaking down the portals. Dude, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't know how that right, well, happened. I'm heading back to get it because I saw. I know there's a table there, and I used it. Okay, man, go ahead. There's no books to it, but it was just a table. I don't ever remember making one. Well, people on YouTube, it, as you're watching this and you realize I have made a terrible, horrific error, you may laugh at me. It's okay. So anyways, we made the... Um, I made uh, the blast furnace down there, and I, I used this recipe for the mining drill. Just a battery, some steel ingots, which I had put into the um, the furnace down there. Um, put five iron into the furnace, and five iron and five pieces of coke coal create five pieces of steel. You know, so one for one for one. And then, of course, I used um, the basic um, electronic circuit instead of any of these gates or anything like that. So now the next big thing I'm working on here is, oops, I need a little bit more copper. So I'm going to make a battery box, or not a battery box, a, um, a battery pack, rather, for myself. Once I have some more equipment, I will then make one. <laughs> I will then make one for uh, Nikolai as well. But I don't want to use just a standard battery pack. I think some of you know where this is going. Oops. Wah. Put random stuff down. Oh, damn it. Where is... There they are. Were they there the whole time and I just didn't see them or did they not show up? <coughs> So while this is doing that, I'm going to make another circuit, because I realize I am still running things rather barren at the moment. And as you can see, I am quickly running out of redstone as well, so we're going to need to make a trip down there and mine up far more of that. Ah, why does it do that? Oops. And I know I have some glowstone dust in here still, I think. 
two pieces. Just enough. Two and one, two. There we go. So now we come and look here. Oh, there's six of them already. I don't want to use all six if I don't have to. Yet. Alright, then the battery pack goes here, the advanced circuit goes here, and then the six lapis pieces go there. Boom! One lap pack. So now I will charge this up instead of charging up the uh, the drill all the time. And this holds 300,000 EU, so it's basically going to drain this thing down to half. And then, uh, of course, the good thing is I've got this nice little generator here. Let's turn this back on for a few minutes. And it'll it'll power itself back up. We also have our carpenter here. You know, I may be stupid, but I kind of think this carpenter almost, it almost looks like it doesn't even need power. I'm pretty sure it does, but it just doesn't look like it does. I will make a centrifuge. Oh, sturdy casing and some copper with glass. All right. Um, actually, you know, I don't have a whole lot of tin left, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this stuff up for right now, and then we will get back to it. So, did you find? Are, are you back there yet? Yeah. There was one there. There was. That's so weird. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> oh, Frank, I'm going nuts. I think I found one of our tunnels. Oh. Also. Okay. I fell in the hole. <laughs> Time to harvest. Whoa. So I'm doing like. getting some coal and whatnot. Oh, well, I'm actually talking about the crops. I'm harvesting the crops right now. Oh. Harvesting and replanting the crops. Good job, Err. Err? I'm not Err. You are now. Doom, 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 doom. Time to sing the doom song. Knock, knock Err, Err. Huh. Knock, knock, and Err. Yeah, put him on the glass. There went the PG rating. <laughs> kind of think the PG rating went out the window a little while ago. I think I, I think I missed it. Well, that definitely did it when you're putting stuff on glass. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's like torches in this spot that I'm at. Well, I put a ton of torches and stuff down everywhere in there, but I totally didn't. You no, know, it's like a cave that's near our base. Well, yeah, like I said, dude, I put a bunch of torches down. No, our new base, not our old one. Yeah, I went. I went down in our in the areas around our new base as well. Oh, I've been okay. mining it's all over this area, is. dude. Like massively. Do what? Or, no, it's not cold. Never mind. <laughs> you're, you're being weird, dude. It's copper. Hey, man, we need copper. Dude, are you taking blocks out of certain areas here? Like, around our, our planting area? Man, then we got a very big Enderman problem. I thought you did that on purpose. No, man. <laughs> I started looking at it like, what the hell's wrong with this thing? No, oh, well. I'm telling you, man, it's the Enderman. They're messing with us. There we go.
This is almost looking like it might be time for us to start working on uh, making a multi multi layered farm. Like one layer is one thing, one layer is another, you know. Might be a wise idea. And I'm harvesting stuff while I'm in this cave. It's all good. Do as you do, my friend. I'm just saying. Something to look at. Okay, because I'm lost. <laughs> Did you ever set a waypoint for home? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I'm in the middle of a cave. <coughs> and I have no idea how I no got in here. <laughs> Ooh, rubies. There's a lot of stuff down there, yeah. Ah, my lap pack. Also, now that we have the macerator, I can make, um... Let me see here. So, let's do a little math here. 7 and 4 is 11. Plus 6 is 17. It's 21. So 21 times 8. Times Woo -hoo, fortune two. plus rubies. So I need five and a half stacks of uh coal to be able to make us a full, both of us a full set of nano armor. Five and a half stacks per person. It's actually not too bad, considering. <laughs> and I'm going down with the drill right now, so I'm going to go heading through this, um, there's a we have a thing very close to us, a, um, a, a thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Sure. Sure. <laughs> we have a mine shaft near us. That's what it's called, a mine shaft. Oh, and by the way, any slimes you find, Kill them and harvest them. Oh, and as is pretty obvious, I went through the nether and went to uh, the fortress and started killing off blazes and getting, um, started getting the, uh, uh, the blaze cream. We've got like three spawners all in one spot. So... We're pretty good with those with the the blazes. It's just going to be a matter of like, you know, making the making the uh, the things to kill them, the spawn traps. Yay! Thirteen more slime balls. Just a wee little bit of lag there. Just a regular zombie. Good. Whoa, god dang lag, dude. <laughs> I got hit backwards in like No, no 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 Oh my god. Where are these things coming from? Oh dude. 
No, man, like, first I had a zombie on me, then I had a creeper, and I heard it, like, about ready to blow up on me, but I actually was able to kill it in time. Oh, it scared the crap out of me, man. I'm like, no, I got my, my lap pack and all my stuff on me. I mean, it's not like it would have been hard to find. It's pretty much right here, right down the hole, so... But still, it's scary as hell. <laughs> you know, I've never, I never get scared playing video games, but Minecraft, I do. Is that, is that, is that bad? Easy. Like, there's nothing like a great equalizer like a. <laughs> really? yeah. No kidding, dude. I got you some uh, earth shards. Okay. And a bunch of gold and. Or sapphires and stuff, you know. Sweet. I'm just going. I'm going mining for everything I see right now. Just topical mining. That's what I'm doing. I was just trying to get out of here, and I was just like, "Ooh, shiny! Ooh, shiny!" It's so hard to get out of this when you when you have all these ores, right? Like, the regular game isn't like this, so you're like, "Oh, uh, not a big deal. It's just going from one place to another." But here, there's like ores everywhere. Must get them all. This is like Pokemon on crack. And Pokemon is like cockfights for kids. It's true. For all those out there who play Pokemon, we're teaching our children to cockfight with monsters. Ooh, some water shards. And gold! Oh, and so you know when you uh, harvest the crystals like that, it can adjust the uh, aura, oh, too. Oh, it can? Okay, cool. I don't know about the flux itself, but... I sadly don't know either, but you know what? Whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna mine for an hour or so. So, everyone have fun. And they must be forced to watch. You must be forced to watch. Otherwise we can have really weird random conversations, but I would feel really bad for some people having to listen to our conversations. <laughs> They'd be in the hospital within an hour. So why? <laughs> April, says, April says five seconds. They'd, have, they'd be in a Well, hospital. I was going to say the regular hospital because their ears would be bleeding. That too. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> Oh god, oh god, no. I'm running out of room, but there's so much stuff. <laughs> oh god, no, more coal. I'm throwing away blocks of cobble just because I need more coal. More gold or more coal? Coal. I got a fortune touch. Oh what yeah, that's right. Fortune touch, you're like, I've got multiple things in one. I don't know what they are anymore. And Kermit the Frog has come back once again to play Minecraft. I actually fear that area. <laughs> There's a big lava pool down there. And yes, I realize I'm walking past a bunch of stuff, folks, but I'm, I'm really... I'm actually trying to focus on finding a few specific items, which there's a bunch of it right there. Yes, I too am also looking for coal. Well, I got three stacks on me. Good, just keep... I'm gonna keep gathering. Oh crap, angry zombie in leather armor. Oh crap. That's dangerous. And he didn't even drop any of it. What a bastard. Oh, PG rating gone. <laughs> PG-13 now. Curse you, Motion Picture Association of America. You have destroyed our children for the last time. Ooh, viz shards. Are viz shards of any worth for you? Fire shards. There we go. <coughs> I didn't even have a full stack of coal yet. Come on. Oh, lag. 
I can't wait till I put in my new graphics cards in this thing. Oh god, my spleen! Creeper? No, okay, let me rephrase that. My spleen is now in my legs. <laughs> that drop was just a little bit farther than you thought it was, right? <laughs> I didn't know there was a drop there. <laughs> what was that for an answer? And it's like I mine one thing, and then it's like, oh, there's some, oh, there's some of this, oh, there's some. Yeah, of that. dude, oh, just wait till I get to, um, <laughs> wait till I start mining stuff out over in the, um, the mine shaft. Well, I have a full stack of uh, black or dark zio coral. Um, now. I've almost got a. F well, I've got eight of them. I have seven red. I have seventeen I red, thirteen eight. blue. Like I said, apparently there's some new stuff that's been added to some of these to make, um, like, the Zycraft stuff, where you can make, like, a laser light thing, and it's really kind of cool, but it's kind of pointless at the same time. It's like, it's just there to kind of look good. But I like, I like the Zy, the Zy, what is it? Zycorium. Because the blocks themselves, when they're made, are, look pretty pretty cool, you know. <laughs> I love going up past the uh, the portal. Oh, by the way, I also made a walkway all the way over to the fortress. Um, out of both cobble and a few other things, so it's it's a safe okay. walk over for the most part. I probably got to put in a little bit of stuff, but it's it's safe for the most part. Crap! That throws up also. Hmm. Ugh, lag. I think I'm going to stop the recording for right now because I'm just, I'm having a lot of lag issues. I may need to look at restarting my computer a little in a little bit. So, pausing the recording here, folks, and we'll get back to you as uh, soon as something interesting happens. Alright, that works. Hey everybody, it's Z-Prower, back once again. Um, we came back up and we were working on a few different things here. I'm building a couple more uh, 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 geothermal generators because we're in dire need of more power supply. Oh man, I can't believe I did that again. What? Oh, I keep on like clicking buttons faster than the shift click will actually do for me. So it sits there and doesn't give me both the items or all the items that I'm trying to build at once. So oh. it's, it's, you know, it's just being a pain in the neck, that's all, is all it really is, just being a pain in the neck. So, I know I'm setting this up, like, really horrifically, but, um, anyways, the main thing that, um, the main thing I wanted to bring you guys in to see was that we're about set to, uh, build the Infernal Furnace, and if Frank will give me just one minute here. I am. I'm trying to set up these other power systems really fast. I just went down into the cave to get ready. Okay. Well, it's because I'm making... I was making our, um... Some of our power systems, or what do you want to call them? Our, uh, our armor. Because I've got a... I've got two pieces of nanosuit armor ready for the both of us. I've got one... I got the body armor, like the chest plate. And I, I have this... With the, I could have kept using this iron one for a while. Well, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to have this later on anyways. So I just True. I made it, you know. Anyways, I'm coming down right now while that thing's charging up, and then I'll see what's going on down here. I actually need to complete this iron set. I was just sitting here walking around with this chest piece. So do -do 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 -do. <laughs> well, I need this body armor set because I am very dumb. I, I tend to get into a lot we of trouble. That. 
with this stuff. Okay, so show right. us how this thing goes, man. I would say that uh, putting it over in this corner is probably the best idea. Yep, that's about. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna put it right here. Do Do we want to core this out all the way to like make this a square room? But you know, I'll put it in this corner over here for now. Well, because I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a couple more furnaces over here. Is why I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna put it's a one two three space one two three. So technically, I need to pull this whole wall back one more spot at least, so I can put one more blast furnace and one more um, coke coal oven. Hmm. Yeah. That, all right. Let's let's get this. Uh, shoot, I never green. I don't have my drill. That's okay. Yeah. Let's clear this spot out a little bit more so it's in the back corner at least. Yeah. That's all right. I can get this stuff done really fast. And then, oh, there's another uh, thing there. Gosh dang it, dude! Stupid lag. All right, tunneling out right here. And you do need a little bit of space for it because the infernal furnace you have to get up on top of. That's fine. Do you have any torches on you or anything? Good. Keep having rubber bending lag right now for some reason. Stupid. Thing. Yeah. Well, part of it's part of it's my issue right now. It's like I'm on, I'm on good enough internet, and but I it's have, not good. I enough. think we picked up a couple ores in here, so I could throw those into the furnace to show how it works. Works for me. Well, I picked up some uh, some aluminum ore, so an aluminum ore it, can only be smelted yeah. down to one thing, anyways. And aluminum actually makes Perfect. really good torches if you haven't used it before. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, gotcha. Hey, there, yeah, there's stuff there. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so then we'll just close this off really quick. Alright, nice. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and show how to make the um, the Infernal Furnace. I'm assuming it's kind of similar to the Blast Furnace and the Coke Coal Oven? Roughly, just a few more touches. Okay, so show us how. We start with the Nether Bricks. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. And the bottom is going to be the obsidian. All right. Uh, for the second layer, you're going to do it like that. Okay. With, of course, the nether brick still raising up on the sides. Okay, so... But you might want to move. Yeah, okay. you got to add the iron bars there. All right. And the most dangerous part. The lava. The lava. Okay. Then you're going to raise it again. This time putting obsidian over that to be sure. I've messed up there. Along with all the nether bricks. Okay. And that's it. Then you come down. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and uh, move everything off the way. And then you take your. You're going to need at least 100 viz to do this. Uh -huh. So you got to have the uh, adept wand. And then you just right click. There we go. Oh my. Now we have an infernal furnace. And on the sides. And the back of it, which I didn't bother doing because we don't have them, is holes to put the arcane bellows to speed it up. Oh, okay. Well, we can always put that in later. Yeah, totally. So, oops. Now you just come up here. Mm-hmm. And then you can just put your uh, throw your ore in. Try to keep the front of it open, though. Well, the front of it is open. No, don't like don't put anything on the side just to be safe. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh. And yeah, yeah, one piece came out. That was pretty quick. Exactly. Okay, so one, two, three, and can, four. And when you put like, uh, say you put uh, iron or something mm -hmm. in there, it'll actually spit out nuggets along with the bars. So I put four pieces in there. Yeah, it takes a little bit still. So what does it take to make the arcane bellows then, so we can speed it up? I don't have that research done. Okay, well. When you get that research done, we'll definitely want to try and put it in and put, see how it works. Oh yeah, three on there. You see stuff just popping out like crazy. Yeah. What are the, I need for the arcane bellows? I don't think I have right now. Okay. I ran out of the puppet stuff. I put four pieces in there and it's like not coming out. It, did they actually fall? Oh out? no, they didn't. 
Okay, that was a problem. There we go. Now they actually fell in. So back off for a second. I want to see how long it takes. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. It still smells up yeah, one at a time. Is, yeah. See, here, it would, well, like said, here would be a good place to have, like, a, a diamond chest or something like that, and have your little golem walking back and forth. Oh, yeah, or even put in the, uh... Oh, yeah, we could always show them the chat. All right, hey, let's go get some supplies and show them how that works. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so you got a golem. Well, why don't you... You right. have them tagged to that one chest, don't you? I already removed them. Okay. And, yeah, I'll explain that for the people, too. Okay. Once I show them, once we show them it. Okay. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna switch out these chest plates really quick. See, there we go. Now that's fast filling. That's the way I like it. <coughs> um, while you, everyone was gone, I made a bunch more of these overclockers, and got two here, so I could make all that stuff. Now I need to go down and find a bunch more redstone to finish making the rest of the items needed for this, um, for my build project. Uh, all I need is a chest, though. Um, there's a couple of chests here. Here. There you okay. go. Okay, and I got the, uh, yeah, we only need one. Well, I'm now. just giving it to you. Alright, I'm heading down and getting ready. Okay, give me a second and I'll grab this, uh, chest piece really quick. Should be with it. Okay, done. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing, like, the absolute worst design for this stuff. I'm gonna have to go through and like move everything yeah. once I make this building bigger. <laughs> I have a lot of lava down here that I'm dig you know, pulling out. Oh here man. Also, here's uh your body armor. Sweet. Sweet. There's one piece. Um I've got more that I have to make, but I need to get a bunch more redstone first. And when it starts getting low from being hit, then all you got to do is just toss it in front of the, uh, or toss it into the uh, MFE. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll have to make some ladders to go up inside of this thing. Yeah, well, for right now, this works, you know, just using the staircase. Yeah, I just cleared out the back so we could put the bellows in, as you can show the holes off now, around the entire Yeah, thing. I kind of did, There's, they're all around. So we can put the bellows, are the bellows in the bottom too? Like, could you put one on the underneath? No. no, there's no, I don't, I haven't found one on the bottom, but I never dug underneath it, but I don't. I think there is. I think it just says three. But let's find out. Nope, nothing down here. Okay. Ah, curse you, lag. There we go. Okay. All right. So you have here. You have. We have some. There's some more uh, aluminum. Yeah, there's some aluminum. Don't throw aluminum it in yet. I'm gonna set up a box. So most of the golems work within like a. I think it's like a 50 blocks. Okay. But we're not going to have to go that far. You, when you set up your chest, you have your golem in your mm -hmm. hand, and you right-click on it. Places them there. The wood golems are your picker, are the ones that gather stuff okay. for you. So we can sh we can test this. So now if you go up there and throw it in, you'll see yeah. what he does. Well, we'll test this by throwing one piece down on the ground, pretty relatively close to him. He'll automatically pick it up, and then he'll go put it in the chest for us. So now we can also do the same thing over here by smelting a piece. And it popped out already, and he he took care of it. No, he did. It didn't pop out. He was actually going to go gather. Oh, it. Gotcha. there it goes. Oh. And if you say yeah, when you toss him, he automatically gets ready to run towards it. There it goes. So there we go. So it's kind of an automated. It's it's like a nice little automated system. Because we don't have to stand here and watch yeah. and wait. He'll just do the work for us. The one bad thing though is golems can die, and the only way to recover a golem is to use your wand on it. Okay, well, how how do they die? You can punch them. Well, oh, okay, them. but they, but I mean, if you damage. don't damage them physically yourself, or a monster doesn't damage them, they'll stay alive forever, right? Okay. Yeah, they're eternal. <laughs> but not a bad little system in general. I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to take all these pieces of aluminum and I'm going to go make torches with them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'd rather make aluminum torches than coal torches. 
But anyways, so that's that's the basic little update on what we've done thus far. I'm going to work on a few more systems right now, and hopefully we can get... Um, ah, lag. I'm sorry, I'm getting so ticked off with the lag. Probably going to end up uh, making this whole thing bigger. We're probably I'm going to probably end up breaking this back wall out and expanding this thing out and redesigning the entire inside of this place within the next episode or two. I'll probably just work on that myself for a little bit here, um, along with getting the rest of the redstone needed to be able to finish off some stuff. And, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good, Frank. Now, mind you to everyone, this is just going to be our, um, our centrally located workstation, basically. So... Except for my magical well, stuff. Well, yeah, your magical stuff's going to be in your area, and then in my area in... Um, like in my air, my house when I actually make one, um, I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna be trying to do some of like the MFS MFFS stuff and um, build a teleportation system potentially through this. But I'm really into trying to get like solar panels and stuff. But it's gonna take a while before I get there. So for right now we have this. I'm gonna uh, like I said move some of this stuff around and try and make it a little less nauseating to look at. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get going on to the next part of this. So, you know, we'll, so we'll get things going as they go. So thank you all for watching. And, oh yeah, oh Frank, look out. Oh crap. Oh yeah, zombie. I got some uh, some stuff out here. Pretty sure you saw that already. You have another another, one? yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching us. Please leave like, subscribe. Comments are greatly appreciated. I love hear, love seeing the comments from people. Hey, step in the corner. I don't want to. Do it. Ah, oh, it burns. You're adding, uh, actually, you're adding to my uh, magic when you do that. Uh huh. You can use your own body to supplement as the meat source if you need a recipe done. There. There's some meat for you. <laughs> Now I'll make some tallow watches. Are you going to do it? Oh, crap. Lag. And just like that. I got and what tallow does tallow do? It's basically a fat substance. You can use it to make oh, golems okay, cool. later. Among other things, but it's a basic mm, recipe. Gotcha. All right. Yum, yum, yum. All right, everybody. Well, we'll see you next time, and thanks again for watching. Hey everybody, just popping back in again to show you guys something interesting that uh, Nikolai just made. We have some boots of the Traveler. So, and he's had an arrow in the back of his head. Haha, <laughs> yeah, there's a skeleton. <laughs> Shoom, I'm gone! Yeah. So, apparently they, this is just walking speed, Ooh, dangerous so... Dangerous area, dangerous area, get the hell out of there. <laughs> it's pretty quick to start. And then, um, as you see, I don't have to jump at all to get over these this section. Um... It automatically goes up. This uh, there's a flying core over here, by the way. Well, it's dangerous to you, not dangerous to me. Because remember... Yeah, it's not dangerous. The flux is okay. <laughs> it's dangerous just like... This spot is okay. Let's see. It's okay. 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 Hi! <laughs> oh, gotcha. I see. And apparently it says it skims through water. Kind of. I mean, it goes... It's like a normal walking speed. Yep. As the boots say... It lets you cut through water like a fish. A relatively slow and clumsy fish, but a fish nonetheless. Well, look at that jump, man. That's a... That's an awesome jump. Wee! I can clear... <laughs> Dude. Can you hurdles. clear? <laughs> yeah, man. This is... Hurdles. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can... Ow, ow, ow. Oops. <laughs> I dropped back into this water, pu this water pit back here. I'm going to see if I can just... If I can jump over one of these things. Ah! Ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> oh! My butt! Yeah. It's really cool, but it moves really fast. <laughs> it's pretty That's pretty cool, though. Anyways, I figured just pop in and show you guys that. I am now. Are you still recording or not recording? I, I am recording. No, okay, because least... I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> oh, well, I can stop the recording. <laughs>